This is the controller by Gerber. When we started designing the controller, we talked to anglers from Florida to Washington State. We learned about all their different needs, and at the end of the day, what they needed was killer steel that held an edge. The product team selected 9CR stainless steel for its edge retention, toughness, and corrosion resistant qualities. In addition to the steel, the polished surface inhibits corrosion and makes it a lot easier to clean. Second only to the blade steel and the edge retention was the grip. The grip's really important because obviously you're working in a wet situation and fish can be pretty slick. We added control fins on the top here for a really positive place for your thumb when you're going in to make that initial cut into the fish. Whether you're on the boat, at the dock, or in the backcountry, guide fins will give you unrivaled control. One way that we're able to optimize the handle for the user is strategically placed elastomer overmold. That means we put rubber in places where you need it and left it off of places where you don't. Molded into the elastomer overmold is what we call hydro tread grip. Hydro tread grip allowed us to apply a couple different textures to certain areas to maximize grip while also maintaining your ability to clean this thing off when the work's done. Another really important part of any good fixed blade knife handle is palm swell. This allows full engagement for your hand and actually locks it in place when you want it. In addition to palm swell, we've designed in these recessed areas for the pads on your hand to lock into firmly. This all contributes to exceptional grip in wet situations. The hallmark of a great fixed blade knife is full tang construction. This not only contributes to in-hand feel and balance, but it also lends a great deal of strength between the handle and the blade. You're not gonna be able to rock the handle off of the tang of this, it's completely molded around. Each blade length is individually tuned for optimal flex, for more precise cuts, and the ability to knock the maximum amount of meat off of each fish. There's a lot of fillet knives on the market that have sewn, woven sheaths. We took a look at that and decided to go a different direction. Fabric sheaths will hold water and funk and make it extremely difficult to clean. You won't run into those kind of problems with this sheath. We designed a molded plastic sheath with generous porting that allows you to easily clean it out. The built-in honing rod on the sheath allows you to touch up your blade during the process of cleaning fish. We've designed in a number of ways to mount the sheath to a backpack, to a belt, or to your pockets. There's a pocket clip and a belt loop. With a controller, you can make short work of messy business. Hey, I'm Tony Roach. I've filleted thousands of fish over the years, and I rely on a Rapala knife for three simple reasons. One, they're extremely sharp. Two, they hold their edge and three, they're consistent. Rapala has two great new electric fillet options now available in a combo kit. A lithium ion cordless fillet knife combo and a heavy duty electric fillet knife combo. The heavy duty electric fillet knife is the knife I use if I have a lot of fish to fillet or if I have an access to an outlet. The combo includes an HD electric fillet knife, dishwasher safe six inch and seven and a half inch reciprocating blades a fillet fork that securely holds fish down when filleting, and an EVA padded carrying case. So I'll take the fish. I start with an angle cut right along the gill plate, spin the fish around, start with my knife, and then turn it right along the spine. Follow that backbone all the way down until you get just half the dorsal fin. Go. Make your incision all the way and slide down so you complete it all the way through the tail. Give someone a fish and they'll eat for a day. Teach them how to fish and they'll want the Murakniv companion fishing fillet 155 to prepare the dinner. The 1.9 mm flexible blade is made of Swedish stainless steel and gives you great control when filleting fish. The sharp blade helps you to work safely and efficiently, while the handle gives you a firm grip even if your hands are wet. The polymer handle doesn't conduct cold, making the knife convenient to work with. When you're filleting a halibut, having a good flexible knife will make removing the fillets much easier. To start with, come down here, open the tail up. 
I like to use a shorter knife for cutting your fillets sections into the pieces you're going to remove. Starting at the tail on the white side, come in here, get the point of the knife just inside the skin, staying above that fin there, come all the way up to just to the just across from the cheek. There's a faint lateral line running up the fish here that you're going to follow with your knife. Get inside the skin, you'll feel that backbone run along that. As soon as you get up here by the pectoral fin, dive back into that cut you made. Now on a larger fish like this, you can stick with the smaller knife or if you'd like, go to a slightly longer knife. Having a nice flexible blade here will allow you to make fewer cuts to remove that fillet. Starting on your backbone cut, take the knife in, make your first cut, and jump over these bones here. Come down to the first cut you made. Again, finding your belly cavity all the way through to your fin. And that's how you fillet a large halibut. I'm Alan Orker with Cast King. And I'll tell you, one of the biggest tools we need is a knife, a good fillet knife. And it doesn't get any better than this Bubba knife right here. Um, the handle on this thing is just incredible. It, it can literally stop you from cutting yourself. Not only that, it just it, the way you grip this thing, it's got the little indentation here and on the bottom. It's just an awesome knife. One thing about this knife too is it holds an edge. You put an edge on it and it stays, you know, until it, obviously until it's time to do it again. But you run across the stone five, six times, and you're back in business. This is just an excellent knife. And I think a lot of people would think that this knife's too big to be cutting these small fish, but it's not. You just put that knife along there and run it right down that backbone, and it comes out perfect every time. It's an awesome knife. I suggest everybody get one, or two maybe. I buy my knives accordingly, and this one here, I can cut a fish to 80, 90 pounds with this knife, no problem. Or a pound with this knife, no problem. So I suggest everybody get one. If you're a fisherman or a hunter, this is the knife to get, the Bubba Blade. It's awesome. And it cuts right through, takes care of business. And, there, and anybody that hunts and fishes knows that the knife is your best friend. And that's a fact. Or it can be your worst enemy, your worst nightmare. Look at this, this knife just skins with, with ease. Look at that, perfect. So, it's the bomb, there's no doubt about it. You'd be remiss if you didn't have one if you fish a lot. So, get a hold of your Bubba dealer and find out what's up.